Hi everyone, I'll be discussing about Memtest 86 and using it to test the RAM on your computer. Memtest 86 is a free standalone memory testing software that you can boot from your USB drive. It tests your computer's RAM for errors. So why is this important? Because faulty RAM can cause all sorts of problems and identifying issues can save you a ton of trouble. So if you've been noticing your computer crashing when working or when you're gaming or the screen freezes, it can often point to the RAM. So Memtest 86 runs a series of tests to check the integrity of your RAM to pinpoint the problem. Memory issues can be caused by manufacturing defects, overheating, or just because of age. So I'm going to download Memtest 86 and I'm going to need a USB drive for this. Go to memtest86.com. Now you'll need a USB drive to put Memtest 86 on. So it'll have to be at least one gigabyte in size. I am using a 32 gigabyte drive. And I'm gonna to go to download. And I'm gonna download free. Once it's downloaded, go to the directory and I'm going to extract it. All right, it's extracted and I'm gonna run image USB. And it asks you to select the USB drive. So make sure you select the right one. So in my case, it's this one here. And I'm gonna write the image to USB drive and I wanna do a post image verification just to make sure everything's okay. And then once ready, hit write. And it's asking you to confirm. Yes. Yes. Okay, imaging has completed. So I'll hit okay. I'm gonna exit. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. All right, I am in the BIOS here and I'm looking at the boot options and I have boot option number one, which is my USB drive. And so it's going to boot the USB drive first. And also if I go to save and exit, in my BIOS here, I'm also able to do a boot override so I can select what I want to boot. So for example, I can just boot directly from here. Okay, so we see here memtest86 comes up and we can go into exit or configuration using the arrow keys. So I'm gonna to go to config and we're now in memtest86 and it shows my CPU and my memory. And so for here, I just have eight gigabytes. Usually I have 16 gigabytes, but I took out one stick just to help reduce the time that it'll take to do the tests. And I can go to view detailed RAM, hit enter, and it shows the type of RAM I have. And I can go to back, there's view memory usage, and it shows what is being used. And on the left side, we got system info, so that's when I'm in. Next is test selection, T. And here are the different tests that it will do. And you can press enter or click to enable or disable to select the test. And we see here number of passes is defaulted to four. And so it's good to have multiple passes just to make sure, just to be thorough. But for this video, I'm just gonna do one, otherwise it's gonna take a while. And then you can go to address range. So you can hit A and it says the lower limit and the upper limit of the system addresses that it's going to test. So I'm gonna leave it as default. And there's C for CPU selection and it lists the CPUs available for testing. And you can have it single, parallel, round robin, or sequential. I'm gonna leave it as default as parallel. Next there's settings, E. So you can set it as English or your preferred language. And then there's the resolution. And so I am going to start the test, so S. And so it's starting to test and it's currently at test number three. So this is gonna take some time. All right, the test is complete and I have here a pass and it says here, press any key to display summary. And so it gives a summary here. And so we have the test start time and we see here the elapsed time. So it took about 26 minutes to complete. And it shows the number of tests and the number of tests passed. And we see at the bottom here, there are no errors mentioned. So that is good. That is what you want to see. And it says here, press any key to continue. And it gives the test and the errors. 
and it asks if you want to save an HTML report. So it's going to save it on my USB drive. So yes, I'm going to save it. And now I am back at the menu. So we have on the left side, there's also RAM benchmark. So that's R. And so here's benchmarking RAM. And so you can benchmark it, but there are other programs better, such as using ADA64. Now, if you do want to benchmark it, so we have here at the top block read write, so you can test the read or write. So I'm going to test the read. And then the test mode, memory speed per access step size. So you can select if you want the per access step size or per the block size. And then access data width. And access data width, it's not available. But if you go to test mode and you change it to per block size, then you can change it. So for example, 64 bits. So I'll leave it like that. And then I'm going to hit start. And the test is completed. Press any key to view the results. And we see here the memory speed, megabytes per second per block size. So I'm going to go back. And you can do it for write. And we'll do the same thing. And here is the memory speed for writing. Now going back. And so that's how you can do a quick, simple benchmark for your RAM. Again, there are much better programs out there to benchmark. So when you're done, you can just hit X to exit. And I am going to restart my computer. All right, so I'm back in Windows. And if you go into your USB drive, EFI, and then boot, and then you'll see the test report that I had saved. So there's a log file and there is an HTML file. So I can open up the HTML file. And at the top, it says it's passed. And it gives a summary, report date, generated by, and the result. And you can scroll down. You can see the configuration. And you can scroll down some more. And you'll see the results that we saw earlier in Passmark. And we have here at the bottom, say certification. This document certifies that the tests described above have been carried out by a suitably qualified technician on the system described above. So you can give this report to somebody and let them know if there's any issues with their RAM. And if there are any issues, you can let them know where it was, for example, which test that failed, etc. So that's it about Memtest 86. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.